what's up guys, Joker here. Today we're finally going to get hands-on with the Myonix caster. I became aware of this mouse really early on, right before it came out. A lot of people were saying it's one of the best gaming mice ever made. So I really wanted to get one in for the channel for you guys to try out. So after trying out my buddy Brandon's at Top 10 Gamer for a couple days, and seeing how much I liked it, I reached out to Myonix because I wanted to get one in for the channel so I could film some footage of it and give you guys a full review here on the channel. So that's really why we're here today. So at first glance, you might think that the Myonix caster looks like a really basic mouse, but when you start using it, you start to realize that a lot of time and attention to detail has gone into the design of the shape of this mouse and the materials that they're using. Um, that rubber coating on there, which is just so silky smooth uh, to the touch and just really inviting, and it makes you not even want to let go of the mouse at the end of the day. I know that sounds kind of ridiculous, but at the end of the day, when I'm getting away from my computer after working all day, sometimes I just don't want to let go of the mouse because it just feels that good in my hand. Everything from that rubberized coating uh, on, the, on the body of the mouse to the rubber thumb grip for where your thumb sits on the mouse feels absolutely amazing, just silky smooth, but grippy in just the right way. It's really hard to explain without you actually trying it in your hand. It also has these really subtle grooves for the pinky and ring finger that aren't as obvious as some other mice that basically have a rest for your pinky and ring finger. There's just sort of grooves that are put just into the right side of the mouse for righties that really just fits it absolutely perfect. And this is a righty mouse. So if you're a lefty, you really need not apply with the Maya Onyx Caster. They do make an ambidextrous mouse, uh, which you could check out, but the Maya Onyx Caster really is a righty mouse. And for righties, it just absolutely fits perfectly uh, on my hand at least. I would say I have about an average size hand. Um, I think for maybe palm grips, if you had like a really, really enormous like oven mitt for a hand, you may have some trouble with this mouse because it does have a smaller footprint compared to something like my Razer Mamba or a Razer Death Adder. It has a slightly smaller footprint than those, but I wouldn't really call it a small mouse by any means. And if you have an average size hand or a smaller size hand, you're going to be fine with this mouse with a palm fingertip or a claw grip, whatever you want to use. But like I said, if you do have like some really, really big hands and you're a palm grip user and you have trouble finding mice that you can use with a palm grip, then you may have some issues here with the caster. So that's something that you should know. Coming to the bottom of the mouse, we have two large Teflon feet to give you a really slick and smooth experience when you're sliding it across your mouse pad, as well as an opening on here where we could see our PMW 3310 optical sensor which can adjust all the way up to 10,000 dpi so you're going to get a really fast mouse and a really responsive mouse that pmw 3310 sensor is really considered the best available on the market today so you really can't go wrong as far as that sensor is concerned when you're trying to build a gaming mouse that's why a lot of the pro gamers out there um, tend to use mice that use this sensor because it really is one of the best out there the included software for the Myonix Caster also does allow you to do some customization. You can do full RGB lighting customization for the mouse for the scroll wheel as well as the logo. You can also customize things like your double click and scroll speed, uh, your pointer acceleration, which I suggest that you turn off, especially if you are using this for gaming. You could set your polling rate all the way from 125 all the way up to 1000 hertz, which you definitely want to use. You want to use that 1000 hertz polling rate so you're getting the most accurate information that you can uh, from your mouse being transmitted to your computer. You can also use up to five profiles in here so that's good if you do want to set custom profiles for different things especially since you can customize macros in here as well. As far as the sensor performance is concerned you can adjust three different levels of DPI in here which can be switched with the uh, middle button on the mouse right behind the scroll wheel. Now this is really one of my only gripes about this mouse is that it only had three different levels of adjustment. I would have liked to have seen uh, the ability to put more levels in there, maybe like five or six different levels of adjustment for the DPI and maybe an on-screen indicator to let us know which DPI setting we were on because sometimes I felt like I was kind of fishing around trying to find my right DPI setting because I wasn't really sure which setting that I was on. And since there's nothing on the mouse or the software to indicate which setting I'm currently on, it kind of left me a little confused as to knowing which one I was actually set at. But you can customize the three different points to whatever you want in here. You can also adjust your pointer speed and lift off distance, so that's nice to see. And they also have a surface analyzer tool so you can analyze the surface that you're using to figure out the degree of accuracy that your mouse 
mouse surface is going to be interacting with. As I mentioned, you can customize your color settings. You could set it to solid, blinking, pulsating, or breathing modes. Um, and you can also customize the different lighting on the mouse if you want to, or just have one color set to all of them. I had it set to red because that is currently matching my Hermes light keyboard. And you can customize macros in here if you want to. This isn't a feature I choose to use personally, but it is in there if you want to do it. So that really wraps it up for the software. But that's going to wrap up my experiences with the Myonix Caster. I really don't know what else I could tell you guys except for the fact that this is my new daily driver. It's replaced my Razer Mamba 2012, which I was using for over three years. And it was going to take a hell of a mouse to replace that. And the Myonix Caster has really just done that in spades and just kicked up my mouse level uh, to a whole new level, really. Um, and it's just absolutely awesome. I love the way it feels in my hand. At the end of the day, I don't want to let go of it. And it's really become an extension of my arm at this point, especially in shooters. Um, you know, they, they sell people like kind of like when you're aiming a gun it's, it kind of feels like an extension of your arm well that's how the myonix caster now feels when i'm in shooters in games like that and i'm trying to be competitive this really feels like an extension of my arm and i couldn't imagine using another mouse now which is the feeling that i had with my razor mamba after using it for a few years so after just using this for a couple of weeks to a month now with the myonix caster it has captured that exact feeling for me and i couldn't imagine using anything else so i'm um, they've definitely have made me a believer in the caster it's lived up to my my expectations and beyond of what i've seen from other tech channels so i can wholeheartedly give it my seal of approval if, if, if you want that um and recommend that you definitely go out and pick up a myonix caster if you're on the fence about it uh, i'll put a link down in the description below to amazon where you can do that as well as support the channel using that link so i'm going to go ahead and get out of here now guys let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on the caster if there's anything i didn't answer here today that i can answer for you in the comments i will definitely do that and i'll catch you guys next time Tara. it's the perfect mouse for me i just wanna make love to you oh man now i got water spots on it god damn it all right they're gone they're gone now just oh i just love it it's so smooth it's just so smooth oh man people are gonna think i'm getting paid to say this because it's that fucking good it's just oh it's immense it's so uh, okay. I'm sorry, the, the camera's still rolling. The review is over, but the camera's still rolling. And I'm still talking to myself about how good this mouse is. Like, they're, they're not paying me to review this mouse. I like this mouse. Please believe me. It's amazing. Just, just, just get one. Just get it. Just do it. The camera literally had to stop. The camera has literally stopped, and I'm still talking about the mouse. Just go buy it.